What if you didn't have to be desperate on LinkedIn? What if you never ran out of ways to find clients? What if you could be confident you could always discover new, great clients in your niche? If that's what you want, that's why you keep watching. Hello, this is Sarah, and on my mind today is how to find clients. Because for the life of me, this is what everybody has the biggest trouble with. We pull up the internet, we head to Google, and you can't just write client, right? That's not going to take you anywhere, which would actually be really funny if I hit enter to see what's up. But what I want to do in this really short video is share my superpower with you. And my superpower, since I started freelancing, has been the ability to find these random, surprising, no-name companies that need help with B2B marketing writing. And so I want to share that with you today. There are three techniques that I think can really serve anybody because they're so flexible for who you are, what kind of writing you want to do, and what kind of companies you want to work for. The techniques I'm going to share today include market maps, industry dives, publications, and G2. So I'm going to do a super quick walkthrough of how I'd use each of these and why I think they're great, and then you can take it from there. First up, market maps, something you should know. There are companies in the world that exist just to study other businesses. How cool is that? What I think is even more cool is that you can use their research to find different companies. So the niche I'll use for this one, let's do HR tech. So if you just do your niche or any kind of company you've written for before, any technology you've used at work, but we just do something like HR tech market map, and it's going to deliver a bunch of PDFs and images that look like this. And what they do is organize dozens and dozens of companies in each of these spaces according to different niches. So you can look at their logo, like right here, Pymetrics, Harvard, Higher Art, Scoutable. And then we just come over and go to the website of Pymetrics. Isn't this beautiful? And suddenly we have a company that needs to market itself with content. We can scan, do they have some resources? check their resource center. I'm seeing a blog. Who knows? Maybe they need help getting these webinars together and creating scripts. Maybe they need help with these blogs. It's all beautiful. So this looks like a viable company if I'm in the HR tech space. So I'm going to go to LinkedIn and I'm going to go to their company page. And notice how quickly I decided if they could be a fit or not. It was really just a quick assessment. But I can come over and check out everybody who works there and find some people, maybe in client success manager, connect with them. Anyone who looks like they might be in marketing or sales or in the decision-making area, director of people science could be a good fit if I'm not seeing anything too great. And as we go, this could turn into a full-on prospect and then you send some messages, or this is just a way to build your network with people who are in marketing in these spaces that you want to be in. And so that was just one market map. Then we can go on to others. You can see how they get even bigger. There's all of these create opportunities to go and find these companies and see what they're doing. So that was number one. Number two, let's head over to Industry Dive. Industry Dive is a publication that, that sends content to business leaders. And they have publications broke up into 15 to 20 different areas. And so you can see there's Cybersecurity Dive, there's facilities dive, food dive. These are all B2B organizations. And so identify the publication that best fits what you like to do. So let's say manufacturing dive, just to spice it up. So number one, we're going to sign up for the email newsletter because then they're going to send news to you so you can stay informed in your niche. And then two, we're going to head to this menu at the top that says library. Because when you first land on the page, this is all news content that may be interesting and may be relevant for you, but it's not really going to help you prospect. We're actually going to dig into the library because this is where companies go to advertise their services with content. And so we can find these names like right here, custom content for RSM, West Monroe Partners, Sedex, Snowflakes, and go through that whole process again. So where do I find Sickage? Boom. I love it. Check them out on LinkedIn. See, could these be people who need my services? And then when we introduce ourselves, we could say, hey, I saw your webinar on Industry Dive. I noticed it was there. I would love to reach out. Sometimes I write in your space. But boom, this is a great discovery engine for different companies that are going to be in your space that you never would have guessed. Sovos, Prologis, it's wonderful. 
And again, these publications exist for anything from education to payments to e-commerce to restaurants to retail. It's, it's all over the place. This is a wonderful resource. And then finally, we have G2 and it's the review site for B2B software. And what you can do, there's so many different ways you can use it if we really wanted to dig in. But what I'd recommend to start with is you can go to the software section and then look up anything that might be relevant to your niche. Let's say IT infrastructure, HR, marketing, all of these different areas. And it's going to populate all of these different types of software that might be relevant. So e-merchandising, payment gateways, review management, let's go to payment gateways. And then suddenly we have this list of payment gateways. All of these represent businesses that, again, need marketing of some kind. The way this list populates, of course, is going to be the most popular to start. So what I'd actually recommend is filtering it and sorting by popularity. And then you go to the bottom of the list because the big companies might be working with agencies. They might be really competitive. They might only work with certain people. But if we go like midway through the list eway exact payments finical so then we can do that same process we go and find finical and we look at all these different industries they're in maybe they need a white paper maybe they need email marketing maybe they need help with this kind of stuff so you can find them on linkedin connect and just go through that process and so these are the three techniques you can use the next time you sit down and you think man i need to find some new clients i don't want to email random people on linkedin i don't want to like and comment on things into infinity and feel like I haven't actually made any progress. Instead, schedule that hour, go through this process and find 10 to 15 different companies each time you do this that might lead to work in the future. So I hope you love this. Every time I send something like this out, people write back and tell me that they've had people write back to them or they've found their next client within, um, honestly, the fastest one was like 15 minutes, 10 minutes to when I sent this email and the person used some of these techniques and then uh, found someone who responded to them. So, so please enjoy using good health and thanks so much for tuning in. 